Good morning, I'm Bella Ben. Today I want to show you how to run JDG, which is Red Hat's um, data grid product on Google Compute Engine and we're going to be running a 100, uh, 500 node cluster. I have already um, started the um, instances on Google Compute Engine, as you can see, starting with M1 all the way through M500. If I scroll down the list, we're going to go all the way to 500. Um, the instances that I used are four CPU um, instances with 3.6 gigabyte of memory, gigabytes of memory. Here we go. Okay. Okay. First of all, what we need to do is we need to generate a bootstrap list. This is not really necessary, but uh, it helps to start up the instances faster. So we're going to generate this list. This is going to look like this. Um, as I showed uh, in previous videos, this list contains the logical name, the UUID, the IP address and port of each member and whether it's a coordinator, true or not, false. I'm going to upload this list to uh, the uh, storage, the cloud storage into a folder called ISPN perf test. That's the application that we're going to be running. I'm uploading this and then let me um, SSH into the first instance M1 and start the first instance of ISPN perf test. ISPN perf test is a simple um, application that uh, can be used to benchmark uh, JDG or InfiniSpan. So it is available on on my GitHub account um, under ISBN perf test. What it basically does is it's very simple. It um, let me show you. It invokes in this configuration. It invokes twenty thousand requests. 20% of them are writes, in this case puts on a cache, and 80% are reads. Um, the size of the cache is 20,000 keys from 1 to 20,000. The value is always a byte buffer of 1k. And um, when I start the test, everybody, every one of the nodes does 20,000 requests. So we have 100, or in this case, 500 nodes doing 20,000 requests each. Um, again, 20% are writes and 80% are reads. Okay, actually, here's the cache invoker. This is what, this is the thread. We're going to be running this in threads. So every instance is going to be running from 25 to 200 threads. And each thread basically does a, either a get or a put and um, so we have a hundred uh, 500 nodes if we have 10 threads per node this would be 5,000 requests at any given time um, into the grid okay so let's run the first instance this is the first instance that's running um, on M1 and now we're going to start the cluster, we're going to start the other instances. We're going to start them from node 2 to node 500. The start port is 7800. There's only one instance per node and then we're not going to run this in debug mode. First, um, I want to do something else before I do this. I want to enable or to disable the state transfer. What this does is we have 500 nodes coming up and all of those nodes would try to get state, but there is no state in the system yet in the grid. So we're basically just uh, turning this off to speed up um, the startup of the 499 additional instances. 
The instances are coming up and here we see the size of the cluster 14, uh, 52. Uh, we're starting those 500 instances in batches of 100. So we're starting 100, as you can see here. Um, then we wait for 30 uh, seconds, then we start another 100 and so on and so forth until we have 500 instances. As you can see, we have now a cluster of 100 and this is going to take um, at least five times 30, sorry, sorry, four times 30 seconds to start at the 500 plus the startup time. Now we're already at 200 and so on and so forth. Before we start the test, we then have to enable the state transfer again so that caches actually do transfer state but let's wait until the 500 nodes have started. Um, when I look into M1 and run probe, I can see that the instance is here, the, the view size is 261, and we had 28 views so far. So let's wait until we have 500 nodes. Right now we have 300 coming up and once we have a cluster of 500 we can start the test. Uh, configuration wise we have a configuration that looks like this. This is our cache. This is defined in JDG. Um, we have a sync cache with a REPL timeout of 20 seconds. We have two owners for every key and we use distribution versus replication. To um, prevent collision, we have only 20,000 keys and if we have 500 uh, instances with 200 threads each, then we have um, 100,000 threads banging the cache at the same time, that would lead to a lot of collisions. So what we did here is we have a transactional cache, so each access to the cache is, a, is wrapped in a transaction, and we have a total order protocol. This means that all the updates, all the puts are totally ordered, so that the primary and the backup owner don't have to acquire locks to actually apply those updates. This is a little slower than using uh, the default mode, but since we don't have any collisions, overall it's probably going to be faster. Now we see that we have 500 nodes, so now we need to enable the state transfer and we can get started. When I press 2, I can start the cache test. This means 2 sends an RPC to all 500 nodes to start their tests and each node will then do 20,000 requests and 20% of those 20,000 are puts, 80% are reads. Let's get started. Once each node is done, it sends back a response to the invoker, to this guy, and we'll see a tally of all the responses up here. Currently we have 25 requesters requester thread. See here is the tally. This is basically responses from all 500 members and the average is 1360 requests per second per node. We can run this a couple of times and uh, since the chit will warm up or the chits will warm up it will become a little faster. Um, see now we have 2700 requests currently um, we have 25 threads per node so we can increase this by pressing 6 to 100 what happens here is that any one of the nodes will update this all of the nodes will now use 100 threads and when I press 2 um, we have 200 times 
sorry, 500 times 100 threads. So we have 50,000 threads in the system. We can even go higher, we can go to 200 threads, and now we have the 100,000 threads in the system. So we see that we now have an average of 1700 requests. If we continue, we should probably become a little um, faster, although there are a lot of collisions that are uh, solved by using total order. So total order is always going to be a little slower than the default if we didn't have any collisions. But 2000 requests per second per node in a 500 node cluster is not too bad. Okay. Um, this is it. Um, you can download this test. Um, there's ISBN perf test. You can download this, this test and run it uh, yourself on Google Compute Engine. Thank you. Sure.